Hi everybody. In my constant quest for the perfect pen case setup, I came across this and I'm just going to dive right in. I got this off Amazon. This is actually a cable holder, like a cable and electronics type of holder. And I I got this because it looked like it would be fantastic as a pen case and journaling accompaniment. So I, I finally tried it out. This was on my wish list for almost an entire year. And so I finally bit the bullet, tried it out. So this is from a brand, B-U-B-M. It's called Be Unique, Be Myself. I don't know. Uh, so there are these zipper pulls with the logo on it, and they are insanely annoying. At some point, I'm going to have to pull these off and just put another type of zipper pull on there that isn't so loud. And it just, it clanks on everything when I have it out. So I've had this for a week now and I've been using it, taking it everywhere with me out of the house. And I've really, really been enjoying it. I'm I don't know if this is 100% perfect, but it sure got me a lot closer to that. So there are two compartments in this. I will have this linked down below. Uh, I got the medium one. There's, I think there's three different sizes. So one below and one above. Um, so I got the medium one because it looked like the dimensions that would fit all of the things that I want to carry with me. So there are two sections and they open all the way around. So in the first section, there are all of these elastic sections and the one over here on the left side has this bottom netting to each one as well. So as you can see, I've just put my fountain pens and then a regular pen here because th this is what I mostly use. So these are Twisby Ecos, um, and this is just a Uniball Signo. So these sections fit a Twisby amazingly. They are really wide and quite roomy. So for fountain pens, uh, it, it's working great for me. Okay, so the only thing here is this is obviously not made to store and protect fountain pens. So there's not much of a buffer on this. So if you were to fill this up with fountain pens, they're just going to clack on each other and it's not really going to cushion it unless you put something between them. There is padding in here. There's thin padding here in the front in this middle section and then in the back. So there is a little bit of padding, uh, which helps, but I mean, you know, if you don't want your fountain pens to get scratched easily, then it would help to have a buffer. So I'm leaving this blank just because I don't have any other pens that I want to carry with me. So because this is empty, um, my pens are getting protected from both sides. So that works for me. So this section right here, if I were to put a pen there, uh, a fountain pen, which I'm not going to do, it actually lines up exactly where this zipper pull is. This is just a zippered mesh pocket over here. But if you close it, your pen is going to hit this whole zipper and the pull. And if you're just trying to protect your fountain pen, um, this isn't a really good spot for it. So if I were to fill this up with more, I would definitely skip this and put like, you know, my regular pen there. So it's not obviously really completely ideal if you are wanting to carry a ton of fountain pens unless you add in your own buffers. Uh, so in this pocket, I am putting my current stencils. I'm slowly diving into stencils. So I don't have a lot. Um, these butterfly ones, I just, I cut down to fit in here. And then this is, is this Jane Davenport, I think? Um, the flowery stencil from Michaels, I think. 
but I just kind of keep it all together like this and they fit really nicely in here. Uh, I didn't want to cut the flowery one down because it just didn't look like there were good places for it to, to cut it down and for it to keep its integrity. So I wanted to make sure that the size of the pouch I picked was going to hold these. Um, so I'm really happy with the sizing of this. Uh, this, like these sections, they can actually hold multiple you know, smaller, smaller type pens. So, you know, I can fit three of these Pentel dual metallic hybrid pens in here. So you could really stuff this up with lots of smaller pens if you wanted to. Uh, for the regular Tombows, they do not fit in here. You can see how much it sticks out. But the next size up, the large, I believe it does fit the Tombos. I think I saw in the reviews, somebody had posted a video where she had all of her bullet journaling supplies and had these Tombos and they were the perfect fit in the large size pouch. So there's that to consider. Uh, but this fits everything I want and it's compact enough that I can take it around with me. So the next section, this, this is the section that um, I need help with. So this is where I keep all of my washi tape and then all of my loose ephemera. So I have a bunch of washi cards. I have almost my whole stash on washi cards and uh, washi tape is a huge staple for me when I'm journaling. So I, I must have it on me at all times. If, if I'm taking my journal with me, I need to have some washi cards as well. And I love that everything can fit in here. I've got room for some more. In the back, I just have my scissors, uh, which fit quite nicely back there. And this is a, a, an entire mesh section, but it's not all open. So there is a stitch down here. So you have this smaller section and then this uh, bigger one. And I did see in the reviews, someone had actually uh, taken out this stitch and made it one big open area. Obviously things are gonna shift around a lot more if you do that, but they did it and it looked great. And so if you needed a larger open area, then that's you know definitely something you could try. So it has my washi issue salt. And so the last section here, this, this was almost like the selling point for me. Um, it's a zippered section. It's entirely mesh so I can see through it. And it takes up the entire size of the pouch. You know, it's not divided into sections or anything. And I wanted this section because I wanted to keep all of my loose ephemera with me. So I just have a little bit of everything that I own. So I have bus tickets, stamps, die cuts. I have uh, printables like collage sheet printables, um, different kinds of, of papers, more printables. I have actual sticker sheets. Uh, which fit nicely in here. I think these are like B6 size and just more random sticker sheets and more uh, die cut stickers. And then I just keep my Tombow tape runner at the bottom there because it was easy enough. And once I put it there, I never wanted to move it. So I'm thinking, you know, that ended up being a really good place. There is a lot of stuff in here. And I could take out a lot of this and I may, you know, cut it down um, at some point and just to cut down on the bulk. But um, I'm surprised that it holds all of this stuff so well. And my problem before, like that, that is the entirety of this thing. And I mean, you can see how much I'm, I'm holding in here. And when I close it, it's really easy to close. Zipper runs really smoothly, but it's a really low profile. 
And I can just slip this into my bag. Uh, you know, that's subjective depending on what kind of bag you have. But the size of the my purse that I carry every day, this just kind of slips down in really, really nicely. And then I can just slip my current journal in along with it in my bag. And it's pretty heavy and bulky. Um, I don't carry it around with me everywhere. Uh, but if I'm going to the park or somewhere with my kids and I know I'm going to be waiting around, I'll definitely throw these in my bag because I know I'll have time to just sit and journal. But this is a B6 Slim and you can see the sizing of it with this bag. If this wasn't so stuffed, you could even have the ability to just stick your journal in here and, and close it up. But you know, that's not going to happen with me. So I've been really happy with this. It's, it's definitely getting me closer to uh, what I'm looking for in a pouch. Sometimes you just don't know what you want until you experiment with a bunch of things and just kind of figure it out as you go. I feel like that's with everything, uh, with journaling. So the last bin or pouch or whatever I showed was this. This is the huge art bin. It fits 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I'll leave that linked in the description. Uh, this is fantastic, um, especially if I'm going on a super long trip. We like to camp and I would always bring that along with me. And what I would do is I would take select pieces and then put them in a smaller bag like this when I was just on the go while we're at home, um, you know, where I would just run errands or go to the park or something. And so this kind of I mean, it does help alleviate having to transfer things from case to bag and back and forth uh, because this carries enough of the stuff that I need to have variety. And that's the reason I, I had this one filled out because it could carry almost everything that I owned. So I had a constant huge selection of all of my journaling supplies and ephemera with me. The problem was um, of obviously the switching back and forth between big and little, but another problem was that I did not need to carry everything under the sun. It was a comfort to me that I, I had everything to choose from, but I kind of got over that and, and just realized if I just take some of that, put it in here, work with that, and then if I get bored with the selection that I've thrown in here, I can remove it and replace it with some fresh stuff that I have in my stash, or I could just add some fresh stuff to it. So um, I just got comfortable with that workaround, and it's nice having just one thing that I can take with me on short trips uh, when we're home or when we're out camping, I can still grab the same thing and still have a taste of pretty much everything that's in my current collection. And for a while, because I was getting kind of fatigued with putting stuff in here to take on short trips, I was going back to my Delphonics bag, which I have a video of this and I will link all relevant videos below. And so then I found myself putting things in here and then kind of carrying this around, you know, to replace the small one and the big one. The problem with this is that I, I think I don't like having pockets on the outside to store stuff. So when I was using this, I was only using the inside here and there weren't enough sections in here to organize my things in a practical way for me. And I wouldn't even use all these pockets on the back. So it was just a lot of wasted compartments and then it didn't have a lot of structure and it doesn't have any padding in it. So, I mean, this is kind of the same size is this. Uh, the Delphonics is a little bit bigger and wider once it's full. And uh, so this is just much easier to open up and see all of my things. Whereas this one, it's just a top opening and you have to like dig around, you know. So this was just much more convenient for what I was looking for. And I even thought, uh, this is the Lahit Lab, you know, book style pen pouch 
and they make different sizes of this. Like this is the smallest one. And then they have one with uh, two zippered compartments. And then they have a large one that has three zippered compartments. And they're all this same dimension. Uh, they just keep getting thicker and thicker as you add uh, compartments to it. So I almost got that large one with the three zippers, but I realized that my stencil pack was not going to fit in it because the larger you go, you're not gaining any more width or length. You're just gaining depth. So these were not going to fit. And I didn't, I knew that I, it would probably be a problem that I would have to unzip three sections. And I think two of them had a flap like this. So you would have a section, have a flap, and you would flip that next section, next flap, and then a third section. And so there would be a lot of flipping in order to get to everything that I needed. And I thought that might be cumbersome when I was out and about using this. And with this, it shows all of my things in just two flips, you know? So, and then I also like having this bird's eye view of a lot of stuff. So I have all of my ephemera and everything here, and then, you know, writing stuff here. And that's just enough for me. It's not cumbersome at all. So I was really happy to discover that and find something that's a better fit for my needs where I'm not having to switch in and out of different sizes. And it's gotten me also much more comfortable with um, just using what I have because I always got caught up on, uh, well, if I don't bring this particular sticker with me, what if it's so appropriate for what I'm journaling about that day or something like that? And that's the reason I want everything with me because I just want to have the option because what if it's perfect for what I need? And so I've gotten a lot more comfortable with, you know, this is what I have in here. Pick something that best suits or just randomly I'll grab something and whatever it is, I'll use it. I'll decorate around it and make that like the focal point or what have you. So it's just gotten me over a lot of hangups that I have with decor in my journaling. And so this is really serving its purpose for how my thoughts are kind of evolving around um, what I should bring with me and have available at all times. So I've been really happy with this. Like I said, it'll be linked below and there's a lot of different sizes. Oh, I will say uh, the large, the large size does not have mesh on this side. So it's the one I think that fits all of the large Tombow markers, but this is solid. And then it has like this Velcro flap that you open and then you can put stuff in the pocket. And I really, really wanted this to be mesh because when I'm digging through all of the stuff, you know, the light can penetrate and I can really see what I'm looking at especially when things are so on top of each other like this. And I didn't want it to be solid. Um, it's just easier for me to see things when it's mesh. So luckily this was the size and had the dimensions that I was looking for. And it happened to be the one with the mesh on this side with the zipper. The large one, I believe it's just a Velcro closure. So it's not as secure for little bits of ephemera like this, um, you know, without the zipper. So I'm really, really happy with this one and that I just happen to be exactly what I was looking for. But anyway, that is where I am right now with my pencil case or, I don't know, journaling pouch. I feel like this is so much more than just a pencil pouch. But anyway, really happy with it. Just wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye.